more heavily out there. So all of that rain hits the Bow River and ends up in Calgary, which is why we're seeing such huge volumes in the, in the rivers here. And of course, that can be a threat to uh, drinking water supplies around the city. I understand that yesterday uh, you had to help your sister-in-law. Yeah, that's right. So uh, I got a phone call from my wife uh, who said that her brother and sister-in-law uh, were trapped at a hospital in a town called uh, High River. Um, the flooding had come up very quickly there. It's fair to describe it as a, as a flash flood there. So it, it came up so quickly that he had driven to the hospital, and by the time um, he got out of the car, the, the way that he had come was flooded, and he couldn't get back out and, in fact, had to drive up on the curb. So uh, I drove out there to see if I can get them out of there, and they ended up being trapped and having to be rescued by canoe and then by helicopter um, to the edge of town where they could, uh, where they could get a, a ride out. We're seeing your pictures uh, of that now. Obviously very dramatic, and that shows just how extensive the floodwaters are. It's unbelievable. If you walking down that street and being at the edge of the water there, um, people were coming out of their houses, wading through the water, those that were, you know, uh, those that could, and others were being brought in by, out by heavy machinery and by boats. And uh, a number of people said, I've, I've lost everything. Uh, then? That's right. Here in Calgary, um, like you mentioned, there's a, quite a broad um, evacuation area in the downtown, which is right close to the river there. So between 75 and 100,000 people are affected by that. So it's a mandatory evacuation that they went through last night with loudspeakers and uh, asked everyone to leave and also to mark their doors with an X.